E360 TV proudly presents Messages of Inspirational Stories. Broadcasting and live streaming to millions of devices around the world, including Roku. And live streaming to Facebook Live. Also on Amazon Fire TV. And to Twitch. Also, Android TV and Periscope. Broadcasting to Apple TV and YouTube Live. Proudly brought to you by our host, Donna Guinoa, producer and host, Michaela Vidal, host and administrator, and Jim Grant producer and host proudly brought to you by the six minute webinar.com good afternoon everybody <laughs> nice to <one's in. laughs> welcome to the messages of inspirational stories well it is monday and we are really excited to be talking about plan for the holidays now you're exactly right, Donna, because last week on the first day of the week, we were talking about preparing for 2022. We started out with your health because yes. your health is the foundation of everything you're going to do in your life. Because if you got your health, you got everything. If you're if you don't have your health, uh, you know, you really don't have much in, in life to, you know, you, you don't feel like doing much. I'll put it like right. that. And getting ready for the holidays, the first thing that I just like to say is prepare now. Start preparing now for the holidays because, you know, Donna, a lot of stress is self-inflicted over the holidays. It and is. We, we bring it on ourselves, you know. It is. I have been guilty of that in the past and mm -hmm. thinking I had to bake everything under the sun. I have been known... Uh, four years ago, baked over 300 dozen cookies. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, right. I mean, it was, it was over 300, not 300 dozen. I'm sorry. Well over 300 cookies. I, I can't even tell you how many batches of banana bread, pies, <laughs> etc. I mean, there was no place to put any food. You were lucky to sit down because I well, felt if, like I had to do it and, and give to give it out to everybody. And it was mm -hmm. a huge stress trying to get everything done in time. Mm -hmm. uh, it really is. And just in case, if you accidentally on purpose, get up one morning, you eat a whole box of Wheaties and you decide to make a dump load, a dump truck full of cookie dough or whatever, and you're going to make a bunch of cookies more than you can eat. Um, just, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just email us here at Inspiration E3 TV. And we'll make sure you get some cookies. <laughs> oh my but goodness! It, it, but it is really important, like you said. Holiday spring it can it's it's such a beautiful time, you mm -hmm. know, celebrating you know our our Lord, but it can create so much stress. Mm -hmm. It sure can. It sure so can. So much stress. And, you know, Jim, we were talking about this before the show. One of the uh, one of the big stresses, of course, is budgeting and oh, money. Oh, yeah. And that is so important. When my kids were little, I would start buying them Christmas presents in January. So by the time November came, I was completely done. Mm, I hear you. That's very wise to start planning your budget and and don't procrastinate on completing your list because making a list of, you know, who's on your shopping list. Who's make not a list. Here nice. Hmm? Who's yeah, you're naughty, naughty nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If we're naughty, forget them, you know, <laughs> put them in a GNC status. You know what a GNC status is, don't you, Donna? Tell us, Jim. Got nothing coming. <laughs> nice. I, I'm, I've been on that list more than once. I, 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 
If I don't behave myself, I might be on there again. <laughs> right. But, you know, it's important to make a list and a budget and don't overspend because that just brings on stress that you're going to, you don't need next year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, complain, you hear them say, you know, wow, I just got done paying off last year's, you know, Christmas and here it is again, you know? Right. And there's so, so many things you can do there, but budgeting and, you know, it's, it, it's very important to, um, uh, now's the time you got plenty of time to shop for deals and look for ideas. Right. It really is. And we, we talk about stress because stress, uh, Ooh, it raises your blood pressure instantaneously. I think it was on Friday show. I shared that or maybe Thursday show when I, it was Friday. Yeah. And my blood pressure is normally about 122 over 72, something like that. And, um, uh, you know, at age 73, and I'm not on any kind of drugs, you know, <laughs> as the old saying goes. But, uh, you know, that's pretty good for an old boy. But, it, you know, I got upset about some things, and it was, what was it, 144 or something like that, over 78. And that was just me, my motor running. I, nothing mm -hmm. happened. I mean, the roof didn't cave in. Right. You know, uh, you know, the cat didn't run away from home or anything. I mean, it was just some things I was trying to get done and I was spinning my wheels and just a little bit of stress and tension like that. Of course, we all know it. Yeah, it's spiky, but I mean, it's quite a bit. Therefore, right. if you already have high blood pressure, I mean, you know, you, you got you to gotta pay attention. You got to respect that. Let me say that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And staying in a budget, I think is huge. You know, mm -hmm. I always set a budget with my children, still mm -hmm. do actually, be honest with you. And it evens out. I mean, honestly, with, uh, I, don't, I don't know, unless you give them each a gift card, it's almost impossible to get it right within the penny. Mm -hmm. But it averages oh, yeah. out through, you know what I mean? It's within usually five, 10 bucks. And, sure. and I found that that, for me, having that budget was the easiest way to take care of Christmas and their birthdays. Mm -hmm. I always liked it when, uh, you know, when we, when I used to work many, many years ago and we had an office party and we did, you know, I always thought it was more fun. And, and I like this, you know, the, you know, pick the name of who you're going to give a gift to in the office and you don't tell anybody and everybody's trying to find out who their individual secret Santa mm -hmm. is. And, uh, you know, <laughs> every day, when, if I, when, or not every day, but whenever I got asked, I'd always give a different name. <laughs> that will really, send them frequency hopping mentally. I mean, trust me on right? that. Well, he had George's name yesterday. That's what he said. <laughs> well, he told me it was Mary. You know, so they right? don't really know. So, that, therefore, they won't, they'll quit asking you because they'll... You know, the, but it was so much fun. And also they put a limit on it. Of course, $5 back in those days was, you know, by a lot a more, than five, yeah, more than $5 today would because of the right. devaluation of the American dollar on the world market. That's what inflation is. It's not prices going up. It's the buying power of the dollar, you know, going on the, down. On the market. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right, right. So, and, you know, and one, one way to, to handle that, Jim, is when you have, you know, as we, get older and our children, you know, have uh, married, have partners is to just pick names. Yes. I was going to, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Everyone yeah. just pick that name. And then that mm -hmm. way you're not buying for every single person mm -hmm. in the family. And yeah. then like Jim, you have how many great grandchildren? Well, let's see. <laughs> Last time I heard from Kayla, <laughs> 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 her and Ruben have six and Number seven is on the way. Right. Yeah. Between her uh, her child she had before and his two children from a previous marriage. And I guess they really like each other, you might say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I got uh, eight. It's going to be eight great-grandchildren. Yeah. yeah. I thought she had to be pushing 100 for to become a great-grandfather. But it, <laughs> like, it didn't work out that way. I'm not complaining. I'm not right. I got I got great grandkids and I got a good rapport with them. 
Mm-hmm. And I think that is very important. But yeah, I mean, especially if you got, you know, four or five, you know, three or four kids in your family and money's an issue, you know, you don't have a lot of money, get creative. Cause you know, like Donna said, you know, get the kids, Hey, we're going to pick names and we're just going to, th- that person's going to get one gift, you know, and then that way it could be a very special gift because it's not right. the quantity of gifts. It's the, the spirit of giving the gift. Right. That's the secret. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was one thing we mentioned earlier about, you know, getting your kids into the Christmas spirit more and teaching the the uh, the meaning of Christmas. And we'll get into more on that, you know, later on in the week, I think. But uh, it's so critical. It really is because, you know, I remember back when I was still serving in the reserves, one of the instructors came in one day and he says, you know, I hate Valentine's Day. And this is about six o'clock in the morning. I mean, he didn't walk in and say, hello, guys, how you doing? We're standing there drinking coffee. I hate Valentine's Day. And I looked at him. I said, well, I guess we know who got up this morning and had a bowl of grumpy dog food, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I said, what's the matter? He said, well, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up in next week. And he said, doggone it. I, I'm so I get so aggravated because they make you feel like if you don't show up with a dozen red roses and a pound of chocolate and you know, whatever, mm-hmm. you're either a cheapskate or you really don't love her. And, you know, I understand marketing. I do. And people in, in business, and if you're in business out there, you want people to buy from you. I understand that, but don't fall prey to that because it's not the quantity or the expense or the, the the amount that the gift cost is the spirit of giving. Right. And uh, that is so critical. There are so many ways that we can give and get our kids involved for a Christmas they can remember mm-hmm. by giving. And we're going to get more into that. Um, I don't know if it'd be today or tomorrow or whenever, but, you know, just as a nicety to know, you know, uh, giving back to uh, people that or alone during the holidays, because keep oh. this in mind, the holiday seasons from Thanksgiving here in the United States through Christmas season and all that, that is the loneliest time of the year for people that's lost loved ones or went through divorces or they're alone. I mean, right. it's, a, it's a horrible time. And if I may, I'd like to share, you know, the Christmas of and the Thanksgiving Christmas of 2013 and what we went through. Uh, in November, uh, right before Thanksgiving, about 10 days or so, I forget, my son-in-law, uh, Mark um, Manella, he suffered from chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And that is a, a traumatic brain injury because he was in several car accidents. He played football. He and Emmett Smith, um, they were teammates in high school, and uh, Emmett and I can't remember the other guy's name. I think his first name was Johnny. Both of them, they, they're all football players from high school, okay? And uh, they were two best men at his wedding when he married my daughter. And uh, Mark was in a very severe car accident. Uh, they had to take cut him out with the jaws of life. Oh. Yeah. And he had a... Uh, he. Uh, he had a lesion on his brain. And uh, I remember one morning, well, right after it happened, the next morning, he called me at 7 o'clock in the morning. And he was all panicky. He says, Jim, I can't remember anything. That's what he's talking about. He said, I can't remember what I do for a living. I can't remember anything. He was getting real panicky. And at the time, I didn't know it. But I just asked him one question. I says, who gave you my phone number? And that kind of brought him down. But that right. was the injury that led up to the uh, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, the CTE, that he committed suicide about 10 days before Thanksgiving in 2013. And what was really bad about that, we, we'd already planned to be together for Thanksgiving dinner, and we did. And all of us remember that one. Mm-hmm. But you know what, Donna? We know... We were all together at Lisa's house, my daughter's house, for Christmas. 
But none of us can remember anything about that Christmas. Right. We were so much I, grief. Yes. Yes. So much so, grief. So much guilt too, because all uh -huh. of us felt guilty for not being there for him. And uh, you and know, of it's, you you know, it's just it's a horrible experience to go through. So if someone's lost a loved one during the holidays, I mean, tr you know, we all know that and understand to a degree that that is an extremely bad time of the year for them. So please include them, you know, somehow or another where they're comfortable. Invite them over for the Christmas dinner meal or the Thanksgiving meal, whatever you can do. Right. And, and, you know, at least take them some food or something and, you know, thinking of you during the holidays because everybody wants to be loved and nobody, but nobody wants to be forgotten. Right. And I remember how that, that felt during those two holidays and uh, oh my God. yeah, I just wanted to share that with the folks out there because, you know, if, when you go through something like that, it's very uh, stressful on you, very hard on you. And the thing to remember is to forgive yourself because I'll guarantee you, regardless how we lost Mark, if he if he died in a heart and dropped dead of a heart attack, or if he if he died instantaneously in a car accident or whatever, you. you would all oh, oh why didn't I do this? Why didn't I say that? Don't do that to yourself. Right. It's it's not fair. And I mean I know it's hard, easy to say, and hard to do, but you know forgive yourself and let that be a stepping stone in the right direction for you to say I won't forget. The next right. person I love or come in contact with. Right, right. Life is life is very precious and very short. And you know, yes, in, in general, that's what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. It's very precious. It's very precious. Whether it's you know the little baby kids around the Christmas tree, or you know, uh, grandma and grandpa, your folks, whoever it is, it's very precious. And mm -hmm. so, it's important to include them uh the best oh, yeah. that you can absolutely and you know any little thing that you can do to help someone else i mean goodness like a yeah. like the elderly I, i'm real fond of the elderly since i'm <clears throat> i can see them in the <laughs> in the near future you might say <laughs> at, at age 73 but no i mean a lot of elderly folks uh, they don't have anybody in their life. They right. may be stuck in some old folks' home, or that's what we used to call it, old folks' home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know the, and you know they just they're they're alone because even during the year, a lot of those folks, the only people come and see them the outside, as Donna said the other day, is medical staff. Right. And that's a lot of fun. Right. It was that way with. Uh when my folks were in assisted living and I would be mm -hmm. there probably six days a week. And mm -hmm. uh, my dad died two and a half months after I moved back to Arizona. But mm. in that two and a half months, I never saw anybody come and visit any of the other tenants that lived there. Mm. Yeah, I know Not what you time. mean. I know Here's exactly that. what you mean. Very sad. So, you mm -hmm. know, Jim and I were talking. One of the great things that, you know, you can do uh, on a budget, really inexpensive, especially for an, an elderly neighbor or what have you, is make a little something. Have a little arts mm -hmm. and crafts with your kids, right? And make something uh, around the holidays and drop mm -hmm. off a couple of gifts periodically at the front door and don't sign mm -hmm. it. Let them, mm -hmm. let them find, guess who it's from. Oh yeah, that's that's sweet, isn't it? <laughs> that's sweet. I remember uh, one year there was a lady we knew, and she was in very independent, which I admire. And she was a widow, and uh, she was, you know, she lived on a fixed income. As a saying, that's a nice way of saying she lived in, you know, in poverty. And uh, we got uh, me and some other men from the food bank. We got some canned goods and all kind of stuff there about four or five bags and we snuck up there on our house and uh, put them there at the front door and or that sounds better than I got a hollow head knocked on the door and of course we had a younger guy doing that you know one of these jetpackers you know could 
take off and run like a scalded dog. <laughs> and uh, she came out and she opened the door and looked at those and she looked around and couldn't see anybody and looked at those bikes again. And she's kind of like, what? <laughs> and she actually looked up and said, right. Wow. We were not expecting that. Exactly. We went, we went over there to give and we're the ones that, you know, we Walked received away quite a bit. Yeah, yes. And mm -hmm. we received a lot more than we gave. I can promise you that. But it's it's very, uh, it, it shows that you, you you care about people and teaching your kids to be involved in that. How much fun would that be? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'll be, that'd be about as much fun as going trick-or-treating, you know? Exactly. Yeah. You know, you can do the 12 days of Christmas countdown with, uh, you know, if you live close to your relatives. Mm -hmm. and drop them off something or and you know one day it could be something that you make and mm -hmm. you know that that mom and dad like or whoever it might yeah. be and another day it could be something that one of the kids make and kind of mm -hmm. continue in that pattern yeah. and then of course you know and it gives them something really exciting to look forward to oh yeah oh yeah absolutely and you know it's kind of like the remember the 12 days of christmas you know uh That'd be, that'd be interesting to do something about 12 days, you know, but mm -hmm. it's real, it's really important to be focused on the spirit of giving. Right. Because, uh, that's when, you know, w when you know, you bless someone else and you, especially when they don't know who it is. I yeah. mean, that, that, that is sweet. I mean, that's that is blessing. sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's fun too. <laughs> right. Well, and, you know, in creating that budget, you know, this is something that uh, uh, when my children were younger and I moved to Ohio, mm -hmm. all of the relatives were scattered. We had mm -hmm. a set of grandparents in Nevada. There was a set of grandparents in Kansas. There was a grandmother in Washington. And then, of course, my folks were here in Arizona. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> I spent a fortune on shipping stuff. Oh yeah. Right. And then there, Oh, and there was my stepdaughter in Oklahoma. So, you know, I, I mean, it was just all over the board and that's something when you put into a budget, mm -hmm. folks, you've got to remember that you've going to have to figure in shipping because mm -hmm. Holy cow, all my children live in Ohio and it is expensive. I promise you to ship a box across the, across the country. Oh yeah. Cause sometimes the shipping cost is more, costs more money than the gifts that's in there, you know? Really. Oh, absolutely. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is if you do ship this year, uh, we do know that there are some shortages going around. Um, mm -hmm. Things are taking a little longer to get there. You might want to get those packages out ASAP so that they get there on time. Yeah. And also too, in planning for the holidays, you want to make sure that you do not procrastinate on making decisions, making your list and getting busy into action. Because the last thing I, I know, you know, <laughs> us guys, we seem to have a, a calling for this, I guess you might call it. <laughs> but sometimes we wait to the last minute and then My we're husband. out there, we're, we're running around like, you know, chickens with our heads cut off, trying to find something. And 99% of the time, you can't find Anything. the gift that you'd like to give. But if you took the time and did it early, mm -hmm. you'd have it, mm -hmm. be less stressed and all that. And I was telling somebody about that years ago. It, it was an instructor um, I say years ago, I retired in 2004, so it was years ago. <laughs> you know what his response was to me, Donna? Hmm. Oh, Jim, you will take the fun out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, my husband doesn't begin to think about Christmas shopping till the 23rd of December. There you go. That's sign of intelligence him, for us guys. <laughs> whatever. And I told him, well, this year the grandkids will be done early. So yep. we've already got part of the grandkids stuff done. Um I've got all of uh, uh, my kids' Christmas, their, all of their birthdays. They'll be here next week. Mm -hmm. So they're getting theirs uh, when they come into town. And mm -hmm. then, of course, we have uh, 
his kids already taken care of. So we only really have left is the grandkids and what we're going to do for each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's really amazing. Of course, you know, I can imagine the grandkids thrill and joy and jubilee that's going to be created by coming over to your house because you're such a great cook and baker and all that. That's the thing that kids will remember mm -hmm. more so than the toys or the, the, the you know, the, all the gifts and stuff like that. But, you know, going going over there and enjoy good food. I mean, oh, special, special food they don't normally see or enjoy during the right. year. Because right. that is a treat from the heart. Mm. Exactly. Last uh, Thanksgiving, um, we did Thanksgiving at uh, Edgy's oldest son's house and in the family. And so I got the turkey going, right? And then I'm getting ready and I'm putting the stuffing together. And mm. his son said, I've never had homemade stuffing before, Donna. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. You know? So, he, you know, he was just used to stovetop or, or what have you as the stuffing and and Christmas and Thanksgiving. Mm -mm, it's the real deal. <laughs> Pardon me for laughing. Not what you said, Donna, but when you were talking about that, I saw a video and it's, it's on YouTube, I think, where a father is playing a joke on his two uh, teenage daughters. They're about 13 or 14 and they're going to stuff the turkey. Well, unbeknownst to them, to the kids, the girls, he had stuffed a corn, a little Cornish hen inside the turkey, and they thought the turkey was pregnant. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's oh, just yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they don't know that turkeys lay eggs and all birds lay eggs, you know, but I mean, they go, oh, it was pregnant when you killed it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's you, you got, if I find it, I'll send it to you, Donna, because it, it's funny because the expression on the girl's face is like, oh, that's icky. Oh, that's horrible, right? you know? And, uh, but yeah, he, he got a big, and that was a pretty, I got I to tip my hat to them, to him and his wife, who, if, whoever came up with that idea, but to play that right? joke on the, on the granddaughter. That's all, priceless. That's on priceless. His teenage, yeah, yeah, it really is. And uh, it, it's it's really uh, having fun with your kids. You know, that's, uh, oh man. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what we remember about life. Right is the funny things that happen and all of that. Of course, we remember a lot of the bad things, but I mean, in general, when you look back on life, you know, the love that was there, the humor and all that, that just seems to paramount right. everything else. And um, <laughs> I'll send that video to you if, and I know I can find it. I'll send it to you. I'll be glad to. That is just too funny. That mm. is too funny. But it's, it is, uh, you know, I, um, have never been one to want to go in debt for Christmas. Jim. Oh yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean I don't love my family, mm -mm. but that's just ridiculous in my opinion mm -hmm. um, to raise your credit card debt so high that you're paying it off all year. And then you just get that, you know, that sucker paid off and then boom, it's there again. And then it, it's a, it's a vicious cycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It really is because when you in January, when the bills start coming in, you go, oh, what mm -hmm. that's, a, you know, that raises your stress level. It, it destroys your creativity in your life, especially when you're looking forward to 2022 and getting 2022 off to a great start. Right. Who needs a truckload of stress? Right. Better off to pull a little bit of money out of your checking account every mm -hmm. payday and put it into mm -hmm. a special savings account. Mm -hmm. and and just let it go until Christmas and then you've cut everything mm -hmm. and this is how much you're spending and then it's done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're exactly right. And you know, one of the things that I, you know, I know how kids are, they got to have name brands and all that, but you know, is name brands really that important? I know it is the kids. I mean, I understand that, but I mean, you know, there are times and places you can shop, you can get coupons. I mean, the the Internet is just growing on all fronts. It's just expanding right. exponentially. Yeah. There's all kind of new ways for a person to find coupons and whatever. And, 
you know, just shop around mm -hmm. and ask your friends, hey, you know, any good, good, uh, good website gives out coupons. Try to save money if you can, because when we were first married, I used to hate coupons. Oh, I hated them because I'd go to work. You know, I was a manager at a store, assistant manager. And uh, when, you, when you get off work, pick up these items and be sure and use that coupon. Okay. So I, you know, put everything in my pocket or whatever. I don't know what to do with the coupon. It's in there somewhere. So I, you know, get off work. Look at a number of things on the list. Jetpack in there. Pick up the things. Come home. She looks at the receipt. You didn't use the coupon. Yeah. Why didn't you use the coupon? Oh, God, I forgot about that coupon. You know? <laughs> but uh, it's because of, you know, I was just caught up in, you know, what was on my mind. And, you know, coupons right. were not anywhere on my horizon. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, 25 cents back then. I mean, goodness, uh, a gallon of gas in those days were like 75 cents. So you're, you know. Three coupons, you bought, a, you bought a gallon of gas, you know. I remember buying milk for 50 cents a gallon. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing. My kids used to tease me about that, you know. And as I've said before, I was a single mom, folks. So, you know, every single penny really, truly counted. Mm -hmm. And they used to laugh at me because they'd say, you know, mom, 10 cents off on gallon, uh, a gallon of gas versus going over there isn't going to make that much difference. And I said, you're right. It's not, not one time. Mm -hmm. But how many times a year do I have to fill up to take mm -hmm. you guys everywhere to go yeah. to work? And that and the coupons that I save and buying on sale, that adds up at the end of the year to thousands and thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it and really I, does. Oh, oh. You know, th then then they got it because they were just looking at this little picture, not the whole the whole oh, yeah. big picture. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, it's uh, the, I like to mention our charity that we sponsor, Shelter the Soldier. This is another way that uh, you can you can give. help and yeah, exactly. You can give to the Shelter the Soldier dot org, and I recommend for you to pick out a charity, and you don't necessarily have to give any the charity you pick out money you can donate your time it could be to a local mm -hmm. charity like a food bank or something like that Animal look for shelter, ways doesn't matter. oh yeah oh yeah in this particular case uh if you donate a hundred dollars to the shelter to soldier organization uh they you know let us know just email us at inspiration at e360 tv don and i will the staff will get it here and we'll make sure we put you in touch with Mr. X and he will give you a 30 minute consultation on, on your business, what you're doing right, we, areas you might want to reconsider things. And uh, he is a he, he's all, he's up here. Mm -hmm. He's up here. He's a marketing when, extraordinaire. Yes, ma'am, he is. And uh, mm -hmm. well, if he's good enough to walk his team into <laughs> Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah the corporate office, the boardroom of the corporate office and close the deal. I think he can help you, you know, Yeah. and, uh, the shelter, the soldier, it, we like dogs. And, uh, most importantly, uh, we, they go in and save these, you know, dogs is going to be put to sleep and they train them to recognize PTSD and, you know, dogs can be trained for anything. It can be seeing eye dogs, comfort dogs, whatever, you know, it just, it's just amazing. And you may uh, you may choose to be a part of that organization or any other fine organization that helps, you know, people in their hour of need. St. Jude's Hospital is another one that comes to mind. And there's many like that because get get your kids in the mindset that the spirit of Christmas, as we call it here in the United States, it's not about receiving gifts. It's about giving. Mm hmm. It really is. And uh, the happiest families are the kids who give. <laughs> right. They really right. are. You know, and, I, uh, if I, I got to tell a little story out of school on my children, and they were so dadgum cute when they were little. They get mm -hmm. so excited with Christmas, right? And then they'd have all their presents, and then their dad would have his presents, and I'd have, you know, my presents. And they would be upset 
that I didn't have enough presents. Oh, and, yeah. And I will, I swear to y'all, they would run back in their room and they would grab whatever their favorite toy was, a rock. It didn't matter. It was the cutest thing in the whole world. And they'd wrap it up real quick and they come out and say, Mommy, I forgot one. This is <laughs> for you. It was just adorable. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's kind of how kids work. They mm -hmm. think about things like that. Mm -hmm. They do. Oh, yeah, they really do. And uh, it means a lot to them. And it's certainly a, a blessing for the parent, too, when that happens. Mm -hmm. it, it's just amazing how if you teach them the importance of giving, the spirit of giving, and what the season is all about, uh, you know, like Thanksgiving, that's my favorite holiday. It really is because the emphasis is not on until Black Friday the next day, of course, but the emphasis is not on buying stuff. It's about family, food, and fellowship and love. And uh, Right, breaking bread. Yeah, and you can't buy that. No. You can't buy that type of joy and jubilee. It's not for sale anywhere either on the internet or any, any brick and mortar store, it's just, it's so precious that it cannot be packaged. Mm -hmm. Think about that. It's kind of like, a, you know, we value the things that we pay money for. Right. We value our homes. We value our cars. We value our trinkets that we buy. Right. Heirlooms that's been handed down. But the things that's so important to us, that's totally priceless, we don't put much value on it, and that's really sad. And that's like your health. I mean, you can't, you you know, the person you were born to be, that's who you are, your brain, your level of intelligence. I mean, there's so many things that, you know, money cannot buy. You're irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. And yet we don't put much value on that. And that's right. that's something we should teach kids, too, because in this world of doom and gloom and all this evilness and let, let's call it what it is. It's just plain old evilness and meanness. It's being vomited on society, labeling people, uh, teaching pe teaching kids, you know, things that's just flat dab wrong. There's no mm -hmm. truth in it. You don't teach kids to hate. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not apologizing. But I mean, you, you don't do that. You right. Know? But, you know, teaching them how to love and how to give. That's what we should be teaching kids. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I could get on a soapbox on that, but I don't want to get away from our topic. But, you know, because otherwise, Don, I'll, Don, there's a choke chain under, it's invisible. In, but I'll one. kick him. Yeah. I'll kick him. Oh, kick him. Hmm. I was hoping just for the choke chain. <laughs> <laughs> and she has these cowgirl boots on and they got, you know, I got, got steel toe on. boots. Are you kidding me? Ooh. That, could, <laughs> that could get very rude and very personnel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the other things, you know, when, when you're talking about a budget, especially mm -hmm. for young, young parents out there and they're just getting started, man, it gets expensive come Christmas time, oh, yeah. right? And then, of course, you want to do something, think creative. You know, back in my day, we did not have Google, okay? We, we didn't have Google to get all these awesome creative ideas of gifts that you can make that are really mm -hmm. meaningful. Mm -hmm. So think yeah. about that, folks. Think about yeah. that. What you can do to make a gift to give to the grandparents or mm. the aunts, the uncles, or, mm. you know, uh, my children have a set of grandparents who are not by blood, they're by choice, and they're mm. every bit as much of family as if they were by blood. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? So, you know, think about those kind of things and, and, the, and the gifts that you can, you can get your children involved in and make mm -hmm. and, and send, send or drop off. Oh, that, yeah. That's huge. And you mentioned Google and... Uh... Uh, don't forget YouTube because you can go there and uh, DIY, Learn. do it yourself and watch the, because yep. I've seen so many people, I've seen things people make you like, wow, that's very ingenious. And I've also mm -hmm. seen people make things you go like, you spent time figuring that out, you know, but I mean, there's a lot of good creative 
ideas out there and people mm -hmm. love to share with you and show you how they put that together because those kind of gifts you can't buy in a store. Right. Really? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, having that budget and understanding this is, this is what we've got to work with is, mm -hmm. is crucial. And, mm -hmm. and to me, uh, and, and Jim as well, I can, I can speak for him. That is the first step in, in how we avoid stress. Yes, ma'am. You're absolutely correct because, uh, there's no need for you to live in stress like that or get stressed out about the holidays because it's uh, only if you don't properly plan, prepare, right. and if you procrastinate, then you can expect a, you know, a dump truck load of stress to be dumped right on you. Right. And I don't want to have a, have a Christmas that's so expensive that when January, February comes around, I don't have any money to pay my bills. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because right? that's very stressful. Mm -hmm. It's very stressful. It really is. And, you know, Donna, it you know, reminds me of all the people we've been associated with. That last week we gave away a, a lot of complimentary gifts. And yes, we those did. complimentary gifts that we gave away, they was four or five every day or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if you if you don't remember what they were, you know, we give away uh, Dr. Grant's information, the Academy of Wellness and how you do the AO scan. And we actually gave away a gift that you and I would help people with their six minute webinar. Right. And, you know, and that's uh, that, that's a very valuable gift. It is. And let's see. Another one of the gifts that we gave away was, of course, you know, the self to the soldier. We mentioned them earlier about the hundred dollar uh, donation there, a free 30 minute consultation with Mr. X. We had him on our show for nine days of marketing extraordinaire. And let's see, um, Bill Heinrich, his true life purpose. He is a great counselor on dealing with, um, you know, how you get out of the physical and get into love and abundance. He will give you a 30 minute free consultation. And so if you if you like to have a list of those things or, or if you have questions about any of those, just email us at E3 inspiration at E360 TV. And we'll be glad to get the information there over to you. And most importantly, we want you to have a stress-free holiday because you can do that. You really can. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, another way to do it is if you're hosting dinner, you know, have everybody bring something. Have somebody bring a special dish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that, that takes the pressure off of you, you know, mm -hmm. that you, you're doing, you know, the setting up and you're doing, you know, five or six things, but everybody else is bringing something mm. and, and it makes it so much easier. You know, I love that saying many hands make light work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So okay. true. Plus it gives him a chance to be involved in the, right. in the giving too. Cause it's, it's really, it's really nice. And um, I, I like that idea because it's, everybody gets to participate because right. That's very important. And be sure in, you know, whenever you invite a, uh, a person over that may not have family or friends during the holidays and may be alone or something, whether they're elderly or whether they got divorced or whatever, be sure and say, let them know. Say, hey, we're going to have a dinner. We got a lot of we got a lot of food, more than we can eat. We got plenty of room. Would you be so kind as to join us, please? Right. Would you and honor us? Oh yeah, yeah. You, you bet. Say, Make them would, would you, right. Would you honor us by coming over? And that way, it it makes it um, that their their being there is the honor, and there yeah. the, the, there's no because some people are very prideful. Oh and, yeah. Right. Some people are very prideful, and they'll take it as you know a charity case mm -hmm. kind of thing. So yeah. how you word things can make mm -hmm. a big difference. You're exactly right, Donna. And what, what Donna said, you know, goes for me or what Donna said goes for me, wherever she's sitting at, I don't know. And, but, you know, with the cameras, the way they're set up and they're all reversed and all that, you know, I don't know whether to point this way or that way or both ways. At no, the same you point time. that way. Point that way? Yeah. That way? Okay. Right. <laughs> hey, I got you a 50-50 get, shot and get, get it right, right? right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, let them know. And, uh, 
you know, it's, it's, it's very important. And if they say no because of a pride or because they just don't want to come for whatever reason, you know, just let them know that, you know, hey, you know, thank you much. You know, you know, if, you know, if you decided to change your mind, please come up, please come over. And if they probably won't, but if they don't take them a dish. Right. So we had so much left over. I'm, you know, I'd like for you to just want to bring this over and give it to you. Still make them right. feel special and then because they will appreciate it. Really will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know yeah. some of growing up, some of the best Christmases and I can remember my mama was a heck of a cook and a heck of a, a baker. And she set the most beautiful table you ever saw in your mm. life. I just found some pictures of it and was showing my husband. But I remember in our table at that time would stretch out and it had four leaves in it. And that mm. sucker, would, yeah, it would stretch out to fit uh, 14 comfortably. Wow. So then we, we'd kind of squish it around and, and, you know, put the corner, the chairs and placemats would overlap. And there were times that we'd end up pulling out two more card tables because we just have people coming on over. Mm. So oh, it was yeah. nothing to have 20, 25 people, mm. 28 people at the house for, for Christmas. And my gosh, it was so much fun. We mm-hmm. had a ball. Those were beautiful, beautiful times. Oh yeah. The energy gets flowing. People get to visiting and yeah. And that type of energy just keeps <clears throat> bouncing off the walls from yes. all, from everybody. You know, it's just, yep. it's just, it's beautiful. It really is. And <clears throat> My my wife's parents, uh, grandparents, uh, they would always have the family get-togethers. Now, this was a huge family, the Ortega family down in Douglas, Arizona, southeast corner of Arizona, had Ortega shoes. Um, goodness gracious. Uh, they had seven girls and five boys. Oh, my goodness. And so when they brought their families in, I mean. <laughs> Hello. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Steve uh, told the uh, Steve uh, Evelyn's cousin was here a couple of weeks ago. We all went down to Galveston. That's when we were in all in Galveston there, Donna. And uh, he was talking about, you know, one Thanksgiving, we all down there and there was uh, three turkey, three or four turkeys. I think it was four turkeys, you know, for everybody. And of course, three turkeys were just, you know, scarfed up as the old saying goes <clears throat> but the fourth turkey wasn't touched so one of the ants says oh okay great i got a turkey left over so she picked it up and she put it over in this in this cupboard there and then this one family that came down you know they had to come a little bit further and a little slow getting there and got they got a late start and they did not get the chance to eat with us but you know plenty of food come on in let's eat Mm-hmm. And one of the daughters found that turkey, and that turkey was gone. <laughs> <laughs> it got a, it got scarfed down, ev- evaporated right there in thin air in front of everybody. Right. And I didn't right. know what was going on until, well, until just this past weekend, you know. But it was funny. Oh my god. And goodness. those, yeah, those are the kind of fun times that big families have, and you really, you know, enjoy getting together. And, you know, there's people that uh, get together with groups, you know, to, as the, that's their big family. Mm-hmm. You know, the groups they belong to uh, could be a church group. It could be a, a social group, you know. Our group. Uh, yeah. Oh, just yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Get together and say, hey, let's, you know, especially people that just have, you know, one or two people. And, and that's, you know, everybody, their, their family's not close enough to come and visit for the holidays or whatever. Hey, let's just have a big holiday party between us, you know, and oh, yeah, that that's yeah, because it's it's all about family, fun, friendship and good food and love. I mean, that's mm-hmm. what the to me, that's what the holidays is about. Right. And, I mean, you know, and, and not stress it. Mm-mm. Oh, no, my goodness. What? It just makes it when you stress so much about the holiday. And like Jim said, if you pre-plan just a little bit, mm-hmm. your stress is going to go down. Oh, and yeah. Because the stress actually takes, robs us of so much around us that's mm-hmm. going on because you're so busy trying to get everything done mm-hmm. that you're not being able to absorb it and take it all in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're exactly right. And another thing, too, fits right in that line 
line of thinking is don't overcommit yourself. Don't spread yourself too thin. Absolutely. Oh, man, because I've known people that really, you know, uh, they're going to, you know, they're asked to do this. They can't say no. They asked to do that. They can't say no. And then all of a sudden, I got to do this. I got to do that. And they're just, you know, wound up. I mean, spread the wealth. Let others do things for you that they uh, ask you to do. Just have the courage to say no. I'm, I'm overcommitted right now. Mm -hmm. I would do so much prepping when my children were little for when the grandparents would come in for Christmas and mm -hmm. would try and bake so much that I usually ended up making myself sick on Christmas Eve. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because you're wanting everything to come out perfect and right. that sort of thing. And I bake and, everything under the sun. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, because Donna used the sun. Everybody, most people use an oven or a stove. But she <laughs> <used it. laughs> My oven was full. I had to use something else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she she used the the solar, the natural solar sunlight there, you know. Right. It, and, you know, it's just, I think back about some of the fun times. The, the greatest times that I recall during the holidays was it always involved family and food. Mm -hmm. that was paramount gifts right. and stuff like that. Okay. That's nice. But food and family, that's what sticks in my brain mm -hmm. and uh, the joy and the Jubilee of being together and seeing one another and sharing the love that family and friends do for each other. You know, that's just all. Oh, that's something that never, it never gets broken. It never gets rusty. It doesn't get old like a toy or some, it doesn't wear out like clothes or something like that. And I remember one time I was asked, you know, what I wanted for Christmas. And I said, let's get me a pair of white package of tube socks because that's what I wear. And it is. And I'll use them and I'll appreciate them. And one size fits all. And they said, well, that's not much of a gift. And I said, to me, it is. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I will think about the person who gave me that gift, right. you know. They took time out to buy to that I was important enough to buy me a gift, and they bought me something that's practical, usable, and it doesn't cost much money because the money right. part is irrelevant. Right. It's the spirit of giving. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. You know, one of the things that my husband and I do we we set a, a limit on what we're going to buy on gifts for each other, and mm -hmm. then we buy a together gift. So that's usually something that we can use in the household. So this year mm -hmm. we're looking to get a food sealer. Mm. And so that's Absolutely. one of the, yeah, that's one of the things that we do. We, you know, yeah. our budget is, you know, X amount and it's not huge. And, and poor mm. guy for him, my birthday is two days after Christmas. So <laughs> he gets dumped on kind of hard. <laughs> Well, look at it like this. If he forgets Christmas and your birthday, he, he's going to be in deep. Yeah, he's going to be doing hard time in the hacienda. <laughs> yeah, hard time in the hacienda. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I hear my old buddy Einstein. Yeah. I know what you mean there, Jim. I've done that before. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I Einstein, forgot. behave. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, Never goodness. forget a birthday. Mm -mm. No. And, you know, uh, my daughter, uh, I got to share this with you right quick. I retired in 2004 from the reserves after spending a total of 31 years of total service, uh, years in the military. And I was always gone during my birthday. Yeah. I was always gone. And it was uh, 2004. I, I retired in April of 2004. So in August, my birthday rolled around. My daughter forgot about it. Then the next day, it clicked that yesterday was dad's birthday. And I remember she called me. She says, oh, dad, I'm so sorry. And I said, for what? She said, yesterday was your birthday, and I forgot to call you or send you a message or anything of wishing you a happy birthday. But she says, dad, you were always gone. And I said, I understand. I said, don't worry about it. She says, yeah, but I feel bad. I said, well, Lisa, I said, the question I want to ask is, how do you feel about me the other 364 days? That, that's where the slack starts coming out of the chain. You know? right. <laughs> because I've known uh, one individual in our, in our family that if you missed his birthday, you'd know about it. 
Oh. You would know about it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you think about that, you know, you, you make sure you don't forget that person's birthday because you're doing it because you don't want to, you know, make them upset at you. Right. And that's certainly the wrong way of looking at it. 100%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd rather for someone to miss my birthday and say, oh, I forgot your birthday. But I want to wish you a happy birthday. Well, thank you very much. I'm still glad right. to be here the day after my birthday, you know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. So we, you know, we uh, are kind of excited about, I think tomorrow we're going to be talking about some different gift ideas, uh, mm. things that you can uh, do with the family mm. and uh, with your loved ones, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With your loved Absolutely. ones. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And so Donna's we, gonna and, and Donna's gonna make a gift for me right here on the air, and I'm just gonna sit and watch it. Wow, that could be really interesting, knowing my uh, personality, yeah. Jim. Yeah, yeah. Being for a, a yeah. Hell of a shock. Uh, she's gonna make <laughs> she's gonna make me an invisible gift. <laughs> His invisible gift is I'm gonna take him right off the screen. <laughs> She'll put me in the back room and say, you need to start sweeping the back room and That's get right. done with that and mop the floors, you know. Okay, <laughs> I, I can do that. <laughs> and that'd be uh, my well, gift. Right. Well, we are at the end of our show today, folks. Mm-hmm. We are super blessed that mm-hmm. you are joining us from whatever platform it is that you yes. are seeing us on. Thank you so and much. And we appreciate you. And, you know, we hope uh, our true hope for Jim and I is that we reach out and touch one person. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then our life is blessed. Absolutely. And everything that we share with you, it comes from our heart and, you know, cause we've been there. We know how we feel. We want to share it with you because we, we want you to know that uh, you got a friend here mm-hmm. and uh, I didn't get a chance to uh, put up Doc, uh, Donna's ticker tape there, but be sure and stop by and say hello to Donna at DonnaGuinois.com. She'll give you a free 30-minute cons- uh, consultation on, you know, getting r- rid of the things that just rob you of your energy because we want you to live in health, happiness, and live in love and abundance. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. That, sounds, that, just, that just sounds like, you know, pie and ice cream to me. I mean, just mm-hmm. mm, apple pie with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on it in the summertime. That, yep. Whew, mercy. I better hush on my, I might get so excited. My toenails grow right through my socks trying to get out of here. (laughs) But ladies and gentlemen, our time is gone. We want to thank you so much. We appreciate you so much for tuning in. We hope you have a blessed day or evening, whatever time you see this here. Most importantly, do love yourself first. You owe yourself that and uh, be sure and understand that you're entitled to to be loved and enjoy the abundance of the universe because you are a child of the universe. Absolutely. Yeah. You're a child of the King. That makes, if you're a man, that makes you a prince. If you're a lady, that makes you a princess. Bye folks. We'll We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.